Hello you beautiful people, how are you guys today? In this video we're gonna talk about some very very common false friends that you have to look out for, look out for, in order not to confuse the listeners, para no confundir a los que nos escuchan. We are going to go through these 8 words in just a minute and don't forget, at the end of the video there is a mini exercise for you to test yourselves. Yes? Excellent! So stay tuned, don't go anywhere, because we're about to begin! Hit it! Alright, alright, alright! So well, let's get started. Now, first of all, to let you know, para que sepáis, to let you know that in English there are many, many words which we call false friends. Las llamamos false friends, son amigos falsos, because they have a similar sound to Spanish words, but they actually have completely different meanings. They actually have. Check out this video. But now let's get to the list that I've prepared for you about the eight common false friends that we usually get confused with. So let's get started. In first place we have target. Be very very careful with this word. Now target doesn't mean tarjeta. It doesn't. A target, y además fijaros como lo pronuncio, target, target, not target, uh, target, target. A target is an objective, is a goal, es un objetivo. It could also be una diana, por ejemplo, un objetivo, ¿vale? Para tirar un dardo. That is a target. Robin Hood always hit the target. So target no es tarjeta. Target doesn't mean card. A credit card, a business card, a Christmas card, but not targets. So target is not the same as card. Mm -mm. In second place, we have institute. Now, institute is not high school. Institute and high school are different things. An institute would be like an institution, como una institución, right? Like, for example, a technological institute, un instituto tecnológico. For instance, a friend of mine studied in the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. So, institute and high school. Be careful with that. Number three would be facility. Now, facility doesn't mean facilidad. Hmm. A facility is una instalación. It's like a building. The Pentagon is a huge facility. Huge facility. So do not confuse facility con facilidad. Hmm. Number four, we have college. Now, college doesn't mean school. College means university. That's what it means. College and university are the same thing. After I finished school, I studied for five years in college. So college is not the same as school. Mm -mm. In fifth position, we have fabric. And fabric means tela, not fabrica. This t-shirt is made of fabric. Wow, this is a very soft fabric. Fabrica sería factory. So, fabric is not the same as factory. Mm -mm. Number six, we have deception. And deception is not a decepción. A deception sería un engaño. It comes from the verb to deceive. Magicians use deception to fool the audience. Magic is deception. Deception is not the same as disappointment. Mm -mm. All right, in seventh position, we have large. And large doesn't mean largo. Large means big. Now think about clothes, la ropa, clothes. When you go shopping, you check out the size, la talla, the size. And you have the S for small, the M for medium, and the L for large. Mount Everest is a very large mountain. So large is not the same as long. 
excellent, and last but not least, última pero no menos importante, last but not least, we have camp. A camp es un campamento, like a summer camp, como un campamento de verano, a summer camp. When I was a kid, I used to go to summer camp every summer. But don't confuse it with field. Now, field es un campo, like a football field, un campo de fútbol. So, do not confuse camp with field. So, be very careful with that. Target doesn't mean card. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. Institute doesn't mean high school. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Facility doesn't mean facilidad. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. College doesn't mean school. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Fabric doesn't mean factory. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Deception doesn't mean disappointment. It doesn't. It just doesn't. Simplemente no. It just doesn't. Large doesn't mean long. It just doesn't. It doesn't. Camp doesn't mean field. It doesn't. It just doesn't. You see how confusing these words could be? Be very, very careful with them and always be in the lookout. Siempre estar atentos. Ojo a visor. In the lookout. And now let's do a short exercise. I will give you some sentences in English this time. I will write them down here. And your job is to find, to look out for the false friends and correct them. Replace them, replace them with the correct words. That's your job. Yes? Is it clear? Está claro? Is it clear? Excellent. Let's begin. Number one. I always play football in the camp near my institute. I always play football in the camp near my institute. Take your time. And in this case, the false friends were camp and institute. It should have been, debería haber sido, tendría que haber sido, it should have, should have, should have been, should have been, should have been, it should have been. I play football in the field near my high school. I play football in the field near my high school. Did you get it right? Okay. Number two. Here's my business target. Call me whenever you need me. Here's my business target. Call me whenever you need me. Take your time. And in this case, the false friend was target, which should have been card, my business card. Here's my business card. Call me whenever you need me. Let's move on to number three. I used to work in the car fabric before it closed down. I used to work in the car fabric before it closed down. Yes? Take your time. And in this case, the false friend was fabric. This is fabric and that is a factory. I used to work in the car factory before it closed down. Excellent, let's move on. Number four. Real Madrid lost again. What a deception. Real Madrid lost again. What a deception. Yes, take your time. And in this case, the false friend was deception. It should have been, it should have, should have, should have been. Disappointment. What a disappointment. Menuda decepción. What a disappointment. Real Madrid lost again. What a disappointment. A deception es un engaño, like what magicians use to fool you. All right, so how well did you do? ¿Qué tal os ha ido? How well did you do? Did you do well? I hope you did. And I also hope that this video will help you remember about these eight common false friends so that you don't get confused again, okay? So well everybody, if you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and also share it with your family and friends because maybe they will want to learn something new as well. Yes, excellent work everybody, always stay curious and I'll see you next time. Bye for now, I'm off!